Hello, my name is Alan Newberry and today we are going to finish up working on the spearhead. We are going to do a little bit of grinding and then we are going to put some clay on here to achieve a hamon. So let's go take a look at that. At this point we have forged and now we have also normalized and we are going to refine the profile of the blade. So at this point if your tips may be a little bit off one way or the other you can grind it over a bit. If one side isn't quite matching up with the other you can grind it a little bit to make it more symmetrical. So that's kind of the good part of this process here. Then I'm going and basically finding where the center of the blade is, trying to mark my edges. So I'm kind of carefully grinding off each side and at a pretty sharp angle there and finding where is the center of the blade need to be. And then I just grind over to that point and then I'm checking it from you know, different angles to make sure I don't need to fudge it over to one way or the other. Then after I have that marked, what I can do is go ahead and start grinding the, the main bevels there on the spear. So grinding a spear, it's basically like a huge dagger. So I grind one side, then grind the other, then flip it over, and then grind the other two sides. And it's kind of a tricky grinding just because, with as with daggers, you have the four sides instead of just two so you also have to maintain uh, a center line and then also the plunges are tricky just because well there's more of them and you have to get them to all line up so it's a it's a little bit tricky and then you can just kind of keep progressing keep going bring that grind line down towards the center and once you've gotten it kind of close to there you can start progressing through your different grits I'm starting off here with a 36 grit and then I'll go 60 then 120 then 220 and 400 and uh, then a scotch bright belt here I am starting to mix some satanite for the heat treating so what we're gonna do is a differential heat treat using clay so I'm kind of going for a uh, toothpaste kind of consistency here so that takes a little bit to get there because you want to get just the right amount of water without having to go back out to the garage to get more satanite to, to make it thicker. So it's better to just kind of add a little bit of water at a time until you get the consistency you're after. With clay, a lot of times it's better to do a much thinner application. But for this particular technique, which is where I'm going to uh, put it into the quench it and just leave it there. I'm not taking it out and doing an interrupted quench. Uh, in this case, then having it relatively thick is okay. So here you can see that the blade isn't ground all the way uh, to its finish amount of grinding because I'm going to save some of that for after the heat treat. Um, so I'm just kind of starting with the application of clay and then I will use uh, my fingers to even it out making sure I have about the same thickness and amount on both sides then I can clean it up with my wet fingers I have a little cup of water that I can dip my fingers into to help it from uh, sticking to my fingers then I have a little technique where I pinch along both sides so I will have my top finger my thumb there and my uh, pointer finger are both sculpting so both sides are getting sculpted at the same time one side's gonna look better than the other but I will have it kind of at least approximately done on the other side and then I can go back and clean it but it will match uh, the one on the top and the bottom should be somewhat matching and I can kind of refine it afterwards once I have done it with the two fingers I can just go back and kind of pinch it and make everything sharper and that's basically what I'm shooting for with this so I will have kind of a tough center core and then a harder outer edge and uh, it gives a kind of a cool look um, unfortunately my battery died right when I was ready to do the quench so uh, basically all you get to see is me putting it into the oven and uh, that's kind of where we leave it on the heat treating after that I do grinding you grind it out to uh, the finished look and polish that you're after in my case, um, 
I kind of went with a 400 grit and then I went to a scotch bright belt and then there we are. I hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video which is already shot and halfway edited where we make the pole for this spear. So we're going to finally get this thing put together and I'm glad that you guys stuck around long enough to watch it. Thanks.